In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at several new features in Solid Edge version 20. What we're going to do is open up an existing uh, document of a double bracket. This is used in our AMF dough mixer. And the first thing I want to show you is uh, how we can create a tangent reference plane. So in the past, we would have had to create some construction geometry to create a tangent plane. And now with the new tangent plane command, I can simply select a cylindrical face or a B-spline curve, and you can see that dynamic, dynamically gives me feedback as to a tangent reference plane uh, to that particular face. You can see that we can uh, automatically impla uh, place an angle dimension on that tangent plane, or we could go to a specific key point. Another thing we might want to take a look at is this protrusion. We have a particular dimension here, 11.75, and what I can do is add a formula or a variable rule to this particular dimension. So with this new variable rule editor, we can uh, limit the value to a minimum and maximum value. You can have these options for greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to a particular value, or we could add a discrete list, which is what I'm going to do in this case. So I'm going to allow 11.75, 11.88, 11.98, or 12 as a discrete list of values that are valid for that particular dimension as a designer. So what you'll notice is if I again go back into that protrusion into the dynamic edit, when I select a particular dimension, you can see that I can input any value that I want in that dimension. I could also scroll its value by just clicking the scroll wheel. If I select the dimension in which I applied that discrete list, you can see now that I, it doesn't allow me to input a, any value I want and that it gives me a list of those discrete values that we placed in that variable rule editor. If I try and scroll the mouse, you can see uh, that it will just go to the next valid uh, value in the uh, in the list. If you go into the variable table and we look at that particular dimension, there's going to be a value in the range field. You can see in the range for that particular dimension is our discrete values. If I come over here, you can see that I get the drop-down list of values. However, if I try to override that value with a particular dimension, like 13, for instance, you can see that Solid Edge pops up this warning telling us that it's not a valid value for that particular variable. Uh, it gives me the list, the discrete list of values that are val valid. Uh, and when you click OK, it takes you back to the last known good value and shows up in orange also to... Uh, alert us. And so one thing I'd like to point out about this particular bracket is that this is a family of parts. If I come over to the family of parts entry, open up the table. Right now everything is out of date because I've made a change, so we'll just update that very quickly. We'll select all the menu uh, parts and resave that. This is going to get our, all of our parts back up to date. So once all these are up to date, you can see that uh, the dimensions, the A, D, H, and B dimensions are what are changed between one family member to another. So if I just double click one of these family members, you can see it graphically update on the screen to the changes uh, applied to that bracket. And so now what I want to do is actually build a drawing for this. And before I do that, I do want to show you uh, that we have PMI dimensions uh, in this particular model. We go into review mode. You can see there are dimensions to the end leg. There's also dimensions to the main body. So what I may want to do is add those PMI dimensions to my draft sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a drawing from our model. And we're going to run the drawing view creation wizard. 
And then, so in this creation wizard, now you can see that we have PMI model view, and we can select that as one of the views to place on the drawing. Zoom out here a little bit. And make some changes to the display of that view. We may want to wish to make this a shaded view. Uh, we also may wish to go into the properties for that view and turn off the display uh, of the hidden edges. Update the view. Now you'll see it looks very similar to what we had in the 3D model. Now these PMI dimensions can be adjusted just like real dimensions to make them look exactly how you want them to look.